Hey Pauline, it is day 279 of the project, March 13th, 2013, and I'm going to talk about the difference between what we want to do and what we have to do, and it's kind of the theme this week, as we've kind of been discussing the stupidity of what we have to do, and the menial, like the, how menial it is, and how in the whole scheme of everything, it really doesn't matter. Also, I'm sorry I have been looking pretty bad these past few videos. I've, I'll be honest, I haven't been having a lot of time to myself. And that is because I'm being forced to read books that I really don't want to do. And, and just to share this point, I have two books right beside me. One, this one, is a book I have to read. It is 333 pages long. This would generally take me about four hours to read. Guess how long I've already spent reading it? and I'm only a third of the way through. Three hours. It's due tomorrow. Guess what I'm doing tonight? It's also 11 o'clock at night, so I guess that really puts it into perspective. I'm not sleeping. The book I want to read, this one, is, I think it's like, yeah, it's 300 pages. In about 10 minutes, I got to a page, like, 50. Why is it that we can't have like a science fiction course? Why can't why do we have to take certain courses to be able to cons be considered smart? And then in those certain courses they ask you to memorize like poetry and it's like I will never ever in my career ever need to use poetry that I've memorized from university ever. I like the idea that we have to learn themes and that we have to connect books with each other through the themes and through character analysis and stuff like that. I like that. That's because it's useful for me as a writer. But seriously, memorizing poetry? It, it makes no sense why professors do that. And yeah, I guess it's we just have to suck it up and deal with it. But still, it's I often question why... Why... <laughs> Why? <laughs> but I guess it's almost over. We only have like a month left. A month left and I have like six performances. So I sure hope you're coming to some of them. Sure hope you are. It's going to be crazy insane of my schedule in the next month. But please, uh, I'm going to be singing a lot and reading and writing. And I understand your pressure for papers because I this rewrite has taken over a whole week of when I was supposed to write two other papers. So this weekend I'm not having a weekend. Yay! That's only because I want a week and a half to work on my 20-pager paper. Does that make sense? 20-page paper-ish of hell? Yeah. Why did 48 assignments last year seem easy compared to this? I don't understand it. Well, then again, I wasn't doing a performance at this big concert hall in Edmonton, and I wasn't doing a big concert thing with two other choirs, and I wasn't busy every weekend. I also didn't have a job. Again, why did 48 assignments slash essays slash tests seem a lot easier in one semester than, like, 30? Granted, I didn't have a 20-page paper. I did have a 12-page paper. Anyway, I'm losing my mind right now. I guess I'm going to have to go back to reading, unfortunately. I, I think I'm just going to call it quits at around 2 o'clock in the morning and deal with whatever I have at that time. I know we have a test. I have two tests tomorrow, and I don't really care. And, yeah, I will see you tomorrow.